All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can put a line on top of text in Google Docs. So this is actually pretty easy to create, and this is usually used for crossing out some text like in the to-do list, or you want to brainstorm ideas, and there are some ideas that you want to scrap without actually losing the text. You could put a line on top of the text, and this is called try through, and this is pretty easy to get in Google Docs. So there are two methods you can try to put a line on top of text in Google Docs. Let me show you. All right, I have this document, which is the same document as before. And for the first method, it's pretty easy. Just select the text. You can also select the entire paragraph and then go to format, click text, and then select try through. You might also use the shortcut that is displayed here. And now the text has been tried through. Now for the second method, we are going to be using something else, but this method has the ability for you to adjust the thickness of the line. You can also change the color to be different than the text. And there are many customizations that will make this method even more attractive than the first one. Let me show you. So I have this text that I want to put a line on top of it. The first thing I need to do is go to the insert menu, click drawing, and then click new. Now we are in the Google Drawing feature in Google Docs. Select this menu, and then you can draw a horizontal line that you want to put later. You can draw it here. I highly recommend to press the Shift key to make sure that the line is perfectly straight. Right, maybe about this much. Now you can change the color. I'm going to change it to maybe red, and also I'm going to change the thickness of the line. You can select from 1 to 24 pixel. Let's select 2 pixel. There is an option to change the style of the line. You can turn it from a regular line to dots and also dash. That's perfectly fine. But in this video, I'm going to be just sticking with the regular line. And also, you have the option to add an arrow at the end or the beginning of the text. But I'm going to skip it for now. If you are done with the line, click save and close. Right, the line is here. It's time to move it to be on top or overlapping this text. Click on the line and then click this option that says in front of text. After that, you have to carefully move this line on top of this text. Just click and drag. This is quite a tedious process because the line is very thin, but you will get used to it. Now we can change the size by using this anchor point. Okay, now it's actually true size of this text. For some reason, Google Docs doesn't show the actual size of the line initially, but after you move it around and changing the size, it will reveal its true size, but that's okay for now. Right, now we have this line that is striking through the text. If you want to change anything, you can always click on the line again and then click edit to open the drawing menu to customize the text even more. But that's it for now. I hope you find this video helpful and I'll see you on the next video.